Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Rob from Panther Vision and I want to show you how to create an interesting and weird but attractive form. Uh, I don't know the name of it, so let's just jump in. It's a rhombus, so we're going to make a rhombus first. Uh, let's select the square, the rectangle too. I'm going to actually make this black. Press Shift plus Salt. Make your own box. I'm gonna press shift and rotate it once. Okay, so now we have our first um, diamond or rhombus. I'm gonna select with the direct selection tool. As you can see, you can find the direct selection tool here, direct select or whatever. And you have these little circles. We're gonna make them round and round. So this should be good, this should be enough. Now, let me check. Actually, I'm gonna... Um, go to unite okay so it adjusts the bounding box if you don't have the pathfinder go to windows and select pathfinder from here um i'm gonna create a new one press ctrl c and ctrl f or you can go to the edit copy and then paste in front or paste in uh, back because you know it's gonna create a new copy from here let me check I'm gonna pull this in like this and pull this in like that. Something around here. Press Shift plus X and then go to Pathfinder minus front. From here, I'm gonna go to Effects. Actually, I'm gonna add some gradients first. Oh, not, not the stroke, the fill. This is good. This is pretty fancy, actually. Too fancy, I don't know. I'm gonna change the color to... Ooh. Interesting. Ah, uh, yeah, this is this is gonna be good for an experiment. Uh, you can do it too. You can just change the colors of the gradient here. And put what color you prefer. Go to Effects, Distort and Transform, Transform click previews, make some copies and uh, I'm gonna make like 16 and decrease the horizontal one until, decrease it until here it's gonna show some space going on like 94, I mean 84 sorry, we're gonna decrease here to 84 also, we're gonna rotate this hmm not too much, but like this. We're gonna press OK, and here you have it. Uh, it looks like a um, I don't even know what was the name of it, but anyway. So basically, this is how you do it. I think I should have uh, left more space. Let me check. Uh, I gotta go here on the. So if you want to change it, you know, after you click OK, but you still want to change it, you got the appearance here. If you don't have the appearance, go to Windows and select Appearance here. And here you can see the transform. So now you got back the options right here. And I'm going to try to... Yeah, something like this. So this is more appealing. So it doesn't distort too much. It doesn't touch each other like that so now it's good looks like a shell or something like that so yeah thanks for watching if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and uh you know to like the video so yeah have a great day bye bye